Hey everybody, I'm David for Umarex and I'm out today with as much fun as you can possibly have for under $100. This is the Umarex Legends C96. It is the notorious broom handled Mauser. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this may very well be the single most beautiful firearm ever built. When you look at the C96, you'll notice that ergonomics were not paramount in their decision-making process. The grip swells out much in the way old revolvers used to. If you think about the single action army and the way that grip swells down, the lines are still there, very reminiscent of that. But that puts all of the weight above your hand. Ergonomically, this gun kind of suffers from some of its modern designs. But for a gun from the late 1890s, it was revolutionary. Now, this gun is, is often associated with World War I, but by that point in time, it had been in existence for close to 20 years. The C96, the old broom handle, many of the early C96 guns loaded from the top. They had a little opening here when you pull back, open up, feed rounds straight down in. Later models did have attachable magazines, and Umarex has taken advantage of that with this magazine here. The magazine holds the CO2 capsule, it also holds the BBs, which you'll notice here on the front is a little slide, slides all the way down, you load the BBs in, they're there, the CO2 cartridge feeds in from the bottom and screws in tight with this nice bolt. There's a tremendous amount of weight to this, it feels very similar to a fully loaded magazine. You give it a slight pop, it sticks in nicely. Now on the other side of the gun, your controls, this is predominantly a right-handed gun. So what you have is a safety, but well, we're not cocked right now so the safety won't roll up. And you have a button that switches you between single shot fire and full auto. And in full auto, she really flies. Up top, you do have an adjustable sight, just like the originals. You leave it flat for BBs because you don't have quite that much range. You also have a hammer, which you can cock individually. There's a charging handle, pulls back, and reciprocates as the gun fires. Now this does have a back and forth action. When you pull that trigger, it's got just a slight bit of recoil. Safety slides up right here. Very easy to actuate with your thumb, but slightly different from what we normally associate here with the giggle switch down here and the safety up there. The trigger on it is delightful. It's got a very nice rounded shoe. Fits your finger well, very accurate, and tremendous, tremendous amount of fun. This gun is selling right now for under 100 bucks. I think it's actually selling for $96, some change. That's the C96, that's where it comes in. Boomerx has gone all out with their Legends line. The attention to detail is exquisitely wonderful. The fit and feel, everything about this mirrors what you would find on the original but you don't have to worry about stripping value off a collector's item or uh, you know, ruining something that your great-grandfather brought back from Germany in 1918. This is a tremendously beautiful piece of history and very well worth exploring. Now, some of you out there might be like me and you see an additional benefit in this, which is I've wanted a DL44 Blast Tech Blaster my whole life, one that actually works and this right here is as close as I can get to Han Solo's gun right now without breaking the bank. So, there were lots about these that, from a pop culture perspective, a historical perspective, makes it well worth exploring.